Well, I'll do a bit more videoing. This is something called a pine term, like a collection of old stones. That looks like it's got some sort of shield on it. This could have been from the early abbey, which is where Matilda and David would have been. See, look at that, that's got some squirrely bits on. Look at that. That looks like a rosette. Rosetta stone, doesn't it? That one. They've obviously been placed here for that people can see that's this must be hard. I mean, I'll get a brochure tomorrow. But this is called the Pine Tunnel. And all the different areas, which says that I can see plaques in that up. I've seen the ancient cross and some sort of wooden bandstand up here. What you don't want to meet now is a couple of rock finders, do you? Or, or Dobermans that they let loose in the grounds. I know it's illegal, but. Yeah, there's a lot to do, isn't there? Well, I'm paying for my ticket tomorrow. I just want to do a bit tonight, you know. Sitting area, I expect this is. Well, I've got to be careful because I get, could get lost. Some very pretty flowers, though. Oh, yeah, that's like a walled garden up there. There's a maze here as well, apparently. I reckon that would go back if I follow that. Douglas Fir. Plant collector. Precious big tree country. Scone lays claim to the most remarkable man whose influence can be found in gardens and forests throughout the country, David Douglas. 1799 to 1834 was born in the village and worked as a gardener here at Scone Palace for seven years. From these humble beginnings Douglas went on to become an explorer and great plant hunter. He studied botany. <sighs> Collected seeds of more than 880 species. Among the most significant introductions is the tree bearing his name, the Douglas fir. This has become one of the main sources of timber throughout the world. And he went all over the world, look. The plant collector. Big tree country. The trees of Scone Palace. You are here. So there's the chapel. They're on about the Scone Palace, the Douglas Fair, Old Scone. That must be where that cross is. Hmm. These, are, these look sturdy, sort of fur inside, don't they? These look very sturdy. Well, I'll leave some to explore for another day. But, um, you can't do it all, but just doing a bit will help, you see. I mean, I've done the graveyard. I've had a walk down a bit of a track. I've seen some old stones and I reckon the old cross is where the original chapel was where Matilda and David the first of Scotland would have been um, crowned. Yeah, he brought back the seeds from up these huge trees look. Much 
bigger rooted, I would have thought. Pine pinearium, no wonder. Pine trees, I now know what it means. It's good to do a little bit of videoing, because I can top up, you see. I've got plenty for the house then. I might just walk over here. It would save having to move the car, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, I'm back to that gate now. Yeah, so at least we've got a bit of bearings. Got a bit of bearings. I think I'll just walk here. Danger, isn't it? Yeah, there's some more of this old these old stones again, which I took photographs of a good minute ago. That could have been an altar slab or something or a grave. Of course, when I get the booklet, I'll know exactly what that stands for. That looks like an old coffin. It might have become a thing for someone to have as a pig's a cow's trough but look at the head there this would have been somebody's coffin this is an old stone coffin definitely absolutely definitely that is some say Matilda was buried here but I've told she's buried in Dunfermline Abbey try and find that out tomorrow because otherwise that could have been her coffin it would last it would pine them that is it's followed by some huge peacocks I wondered if they were on guard duty a minute ago got here, I've got to the palace, I'll get a better view tomorrow when I can um, there's the old cemetery, I've taken pictures of a few stones the ancient cross, I should imagine that would have been here when the abbey was originally built when Matilda would have come here with David the first There's like a little tower there, a little turret. That don't expect that's old, but it might have been built to look like. And there's the uh, graveyard there. You can see the ancient cross in here. So I think this part was where. Um, See some writing on the wall there, look. See so, that there's something written on there, Lord. Lord. Yeah, there's some writing written on that. That could be the remains of something old in the past. There's peacocks again. These big old stones, some with some Masonic markings on them. So I've gone round already and had a look at a few, taking note of some of the names. There's a little butterfly garden in there. Won't see any of them at night, not now. See this, even this here looks old, see, because look at that stone there, look with the cross like that. That is old. So some of this wall is original. Some of it is, some of it like that is concrete. See, concrete. 
and holding it together. There's another one there, look, another one of those little spy holes. Look, you can see the palace through there, look. I'll put that in there. Look. Oh, you can see the palace through there. A little spy hole. Probably more of them. Oh, look, there's a nest there. Keep going across nests. You get markings on stones, you see. It's been filled with a lot of concrete. To get an original bit wouldn't be easy. To get an original bit. Something like that might be original, might it? That might be. There's another one of those things there. And there's the cross. Now I was videoing a minute ago and it went off. This is the original place. Oh, touch the stone, Sheila. Touch the stone of this old cross. This is where Matilda, your ancestor, was probably here when her husband was coronated. Stone. Oh, feel it, feel it going through you, your ancestors. You can't do that when there's people about. See, oh, people think you're weird. Oh, it's got those holes in it. They are doing guard duty, those. That's obviously been renewed, hasn't it? They look pretty original, though. They probably have just been prepared and made good. Just imagine if this is the original drive. But of course, it would have been a small place. It would have been an abbey, wouldn't it? Right, we'll come back tomorrow. We'll come back tomorrow. It's more of the those little things in the walls. Look, see, they can look at you. We can look at them. That would work with this camera. There's a dog show going on today. Um, 
up near uh, behind all this there's a dog show going on well, some of this old wall does look old actually it does castle-ish there's a stone over here see so look at that that's quite a well preserved one isn't it look that's quite well preserved and there's one over here I've seen it from a distance it had a cross mark on it but now I can't see it that's what I was going towards bloody peacocks are still following me you know they're like uh, they're like guards in fact there's more of them there's one two definitely two of them they remind me of those dinosaurs now where did I see that cross mark and it might not have been a cross now I think about it it's, it's just a line going through there that I've seen from a distance Yeah, there's the farmhouse. That's probably where people obviously stay there. There's a children's play area up here. Oh, look at those wild ones. Um, fuchsias, I think you call them. Oh, very nice. It's nice to see that, isn't it? Oh, I'm looking forward to coming tomorrow anyway. Definitely. More fuchsias there. I have seen them growing out in the wild before. Look at the size of that tree there, look. That's one of his. That bloke that came, who was a gardener here, Douglas. So you could probably walk down that way and then back up that way, I should imagine. Hello pony. Hello. Let's move the car. The car in that position right here. It's facing downwards. Right, over and out.